even in the depths of hell blooms a beautiful flower of friendship, leaving its petals as mementos, bobbing back and forth on the waves. May it one day bloom once more. Hello and welcome to One Piece 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the One Piece world. Today we're taking a look at the ever-popular and eccentric Bon Clay. Bon Clay is a tall, flamboyant cross-dresser who was originally introduced to us as an antagonist. He is a former officer agent of Baroque Works, an organization led by former Warlord of the Sea, Sir Crocodile, and he was an enemy of the Straw Hat Pirates primarily during the Alabaster Arc. At this time he was best known as Mr. Two, and in fact even Bon Clay is an alias. His real name is Bentham, but we're going to continue referring to him as Bon Clay for the purposes of this video. While with Baroque Works, he was employed primarily as an assassin, as well as an agent of political espionage. He has an incredibly cheerful and energetic attitude, which leads him to sing, dance, and spin maniacally on even the most mundane of occasions. He is a self-proclaimed Okama, which is a Japanese slang term for cross-dresser, and lives strictly by a code of guidelines known as the Okama Way. As part of the Okama Way, one of the things Bon Clay values most is friendship. And while he still may seem incredibly absurd, he is actually very powerful and an accomplished martial artist in the form of Okama Kempo. His style allows him to best make use of his acrobatic prowess using dance moves as a basis for attacks. And despite the dramatic nature of this art form, the damage inflicted by these attacks is very precise and allows Bon Clay to hold his own against physically stronger opponents. As an agent of Baroque Works, he was dispatched to Little Garden to assassinate Mr. Three after he had been defeated by the Straw Hat Pirates, although Mr. Three was long gone by the time he arrived. Bon Clay would then make his proper entrance into the story just before the Alabaster Arc. Whilst Luffy and Usopp were fishing for food, they quite literally caught Bon Clay, who was also on his way to Alabaster. Neither the Straw Hats nor Bon Clay knew who each other were, so they actually hit it off quite quickly. Bon Clay's antics proved to be highly amusing, and he was able to entertain most of the Straw Hats by demonstrating his devil fruit, the Mane Mane no Mi. This Paramecia class devil fruit gives Bon Clay the ability to completely memorize someone's physical form by touching their face with his hand. He is then able to pretty much slap himself in the face and become a perfect physical copy of that person. This power is one of the main reasons why he proved so useful to Sir Crocodile, as Bon Clay was able to impersonate Nefertari Cobra, the King of Alabaster. While showing off his powers to the Straw Hats, he used Cobra's face briefly, which immediately made clear who he was to Cobra's daughter, Princess Vivi, who had enlisted the Straw Hats to help her stop Crocodile's plans. Having accidentally made friends with the Straw Hats, Bon Clay departed, only to later find out they would become his enemies. During Operation Utopia, Bon Clay easily defeated Usopp, but had a much more intense battle against the Straw Hat cook Sanji. A hard-fought Sanji would eventually defeat the master of Okama Kempo, and Bon Clay would remain out of action for the remainder of the arc. After Crocodile was defeated by Luffy, Bon Clay immediately switched allegiances, going so far as to hide the Going Merry from the Marines who had arrived on Alabasta, as well as stalling Hina, Django, and Full Body long enough for the Straw Hats to escape the island completely. And the reason why Bon Clay did all of this? Well, it was simply because he considered them friends. Luffy cemented this friendship and exclaimed that he would never forget Bon Clay. Bon Clay would go on to be captured by Heine that day, although he did escape prison shortly after. He would then reappear in the Baroque Works cover story where he came to the rescue of Miss Valentine, challenging Heine to a rematch in order to prevent her execution. It is assumed that he lost as he ended up being thrown into prison and eventually transferred to Impel Down along with his colleagues, Crocodile, Daz Bones, and Mr. Three. Despite having a bounty of only 32 million berries on his head, it was decided that Bon Clay be imprisoned on level 3 of Impel Down, which is the Heat and Starvation level. Generally, this level was reserved for prisoners worth around 50 million berries. And there he would remain until Luffy conducted a rescue mission for his brother Ace, who had been imprisoned in level 6. Luffy infiltrated the underwater prison, and along with Buggy the Clown and Mr. Three, Luffy recruited Bon Clay as an ally in an attempt to reach the bottom of the prison. Together they reached level 4 before confronting Magellan, the Warden of Impel Down, who defeated Luffy. Bon Clay retreated after warning Luffy to do the same. Bon Clay then used his Devil Fruit to impersonate the Vice Warden of Impel Down in an attempt to save Luffy. This culminated in a seemingly hopeless endeavor on level 5, the Freezing Hell, where Bon Clay valiantly defended Luffy's poisoned body from various wolves. He then passed out and the two were saved by Inazuma and taken to the secret level 5.5, ruled over by revolutionary army member and fellow Okama, Emporio Ivankov. Once Luffy was recovered, Bon Clay joined the Impel Down escape team, which now included Ivankov, Jinbei, as well as Bon Clay's fellow boss, Sir Crocodile. 
As they grew closer to the exit, Bonclay secretly decided to stay behind and impersonate Magellan in order to open the gates of justice and allow his friends to escape. During this endeavor, Bonclay and Luffy would have a tearful goodbye, followed by being confronted with the real Magellan. Magellan asked Bonclay if he had any last words, and he simply replied, I have no regrets. And for a while, we thought that might be the last we'd ever hear of Bonclay. However, during a cover story, it had emerged that he survived his encounter with Magellan, although he remained an Impel Down. However, he did take Evan Cox's place and became the new queen of Newcomer Land in level 5.5. Some more fun facts about Bonclay. Earlier I mentioned that the name Bonclay was an alias for his real name, Bentham. This name came about because he was the only male member of Baroque Works Officer Class Agents who acted without a female partner. This resulted in him being given two codenames. One the standard Mr. followed by a number, in this case Mr. Two, and a holiday name that was assigned to female officers. In this case, Bonclay, which refers to a specific night as part of the Obon Festival in Japan. As part of Bonclay's Devil Fruit abilities, he claims to be able to make the funniest face in the world, by taking the most humorous features from every face he's ever touched. Although the results of this transformation is pretty much just his regular face, with Usopp's nose. The swans on Bonclay's ballerina outfit were not just for show in Alabaster, he was able to remove them and equip them onto his feet, drastically increasing his damage capabilities, which leads us nicely into a truly useless fact. Bonclay furthermore makes particular note that the left swan is female, while the right swan is male. And that about does it for Bonclay. He's a consistently enjoyable and durable character who will for sure return again in the series. If you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe, and comment with who, what, or where you'd like to see featured in the next One Piece 101.